Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Space Engineers Plus Me, episode 39. I'm Enigmius and today it's a super short video because success has been elusive. Progress has been abundant. Success has been elusive. We're, we're trying to build the gantry system that's going to allow us to lower our drill assembly uh, pretty much as far down into a planet or a lake as we could ever possibly want to. But we have to work out the details, and the details have been a little bit tricky. Sometimes things don't behave the way that you might expect them to, and sometimes things uh, have a learning curve that you kind of have to work with. And the more complex it gets, the easier it is to forget that the learning curve uh, includes everything in the system, whether you're paying attention to it or not. So lots of progress in that regard and learning how to uh, get the most out of the various different systems. Here's a test that I did with a welder. You can see that on the top. The welder is embedded in that block of cubes and it, it, the welder doesn't care. The welder will weld anything that's nearby, apparently. Uh, it's a little bit promiscuous, as it were. The grinder's a little more picky. The grinder won't, atta won't grind anything that's physically attached to the same ship that it's on. So we detached that block just to see the pattern that the grinder would make as it was drilling through. So it drills all four sides directly adjacent to the grinder plus the end. And from there it gets kind of wonky, it gets, gets a little bit unclear. But I was wanting to get a feel for exactly how these things work because we're using them to adjust the frames real time so that things can move the way that we want them to and if you don't really know exactly how the tools are working it makes it a little bit tricky. So that was actually a very useful little experiment that we did but it wasn't necessarily the solution to all of our problems. We have all kinds of different things at play that we're trying to do to hold things in place when we need to hold them in place and to let them move a little bit when we need them to move. And they don't always necessarily work, uh, like I said, as we would expect them to. That's what happened when we used wheels to try and hold it into place. The, the non-motorized wheels just snapped the whole damn thing in half. So we're learning, and that's the key thing, and sometimes people question why I show videos that are all about progress and failure and not necessarily getting to the points, because the point is the end, and the end is the end. This is about the journey, and hopefully inspiring people to make mistakes, because a lot of the times people say, I can't do this, it's because they're afraid to make mistakes, it's not because they've proven to themselves through a series of failures that they can't do it, so we try and lift them up a little bit, give them hope by making ourselves look bad. So the next episode is going to show some kind of success, but in the meantime, this is what you got. <laughs> 